Hi, Assalamualaikum. Today, Madam Ainkis would like to share with you another demonstration about handling microscope. From previous video, you have been introduced to all components of microscope. You should be able to identify all the components of microscope and also its function. In today's video, we will discover about four things. First one, setting up light compound microscope. Second, focusing on a specimen. Third, using all emission objective lens to observe microorganism. And the last one, storage of microscope. To set up a light compound microscope, first, you need to plug the microscope to a power source. Before switching on the plug, check that the light switch is off or the light control knob is set at minimum. Next, switch on the power. Turn on the light control knob or adjust the light diaphragm to deliver the light to the specimen field. Next, we will learn how to focus a specimen while using microscope. First, place a prepared slide on a stage. Move the slide so the specimen is placed in the center and under the objective lens. Second, you need to ensure that the scanning objective lens, which is 4 times objective lens, is placed above the specimen. Third, Use the cost adjustment knob to move the stage upward until it stops completely. Fourth, observe the specimen through the ocular lens. The specimen will appear blur because it is still not focused. To focus the specimen, gently move the stage downward until the specimen come into sharp focus and clear. Remember to look through the ocular lens with both eyes. After the specimen has been focused by low power objective lens, rotate the nose piece to change to the high power objective lens, which is 40 times objective lens. You will hear a clicking sound when the objective lens comes into its correct position right above the specimen. Fifth, while using high power objective lens, you need to adjust the fine adjustment knob. If the field of view is dark or too bright, adjust the amount of light by using a light control or diaphragm knob. While using microscope, you will be using all emission objective lens to observe microorganisms such as bacteria and protozoa or to observe the microorganelle. Before using the objective lens, the specimen has to be fixed and stained to increase its contrast. We also require emission oil to aid observation. First, rotate the nose piece to bring the high power objective lens, which is 40 times objective lens, halfway. While holding the nose piece in this position, Apply a single drop of emission oil to the illuminated spot on the slide. Second, rotate the nose piece again to move the high power objective lens into position until you hear a clicking sound. Third, while looking at the specimen through the ocular lens, use the fine adjustment knob until the specimen comes into sharp focus and become clear. Lastly, when you have finished using the oil emission objective lens, do the following step. First, carefully move the stage downward. Second, clean the oil emission objective lens by gently wiping it with clean lens tissue. Third, remove the slide of the stage. Fourth, 
gently rotate the nose piece again to place the scanning objective lens back in position over the center of the stitch. If oil is found on the stitch, wipe the oil off with the lens tissue. When you have finished using the microscope, do the following to store the microscope. Check that the scanning objective lens, which is 4 times objective lens, is placed back in position over the center of the stitch. Turn off the light switch. Tie up the power cord below the body arm. Hold the microscope with both hands. That is, hold the body arm of the microscope with one hand and the base of microscope with the other hands. Hopefully, this video will help you to improve your skill in handling microscope and also enable you to get accurate image under microscope. That's all for today's video. Till we meet again. Assalamualaikum.